Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to learn how we can get 18 digit ID in Salesforce reports. So if you are working with the Salesforce you would have probably encountered with the record IDs. So the issue that we are going to discuss today that whenever we create a custom report and we include the record ID field in that custom report it only gives us a 15 digit ID instead of 18 digit. So how we can convert that 15 digit id into a 18 digit that is what we are going to discuss in this video and as you can see on my screen these are this is how a 18 digit code look like in your salesforce record id and so let's move to so the 15 digit id is case sensitive like the alphabets mentioned in the record id if they are in lower case then you have to refer it as lower case every time you use this 15 digit id whereas the 18 digit id is an extended version of the 15 digit and it is case insensitive so you don't need to worry about the lower case and the upper case while using the 18 digit id and by using the 15 digit id you can also perform your data operation that if you can do with the 18 digit id like like updating the records using the tools like salesforce data import wizard and the data loader tool but the problem comes when you are integrating with your third party system or an external application there you need the 18 digit id to refer your records in the apis and the use of 15 digit id is when you are working directly with the salesforce such like url navigation and like what i told you right now that 18 digit id is used when you are integrating with the external system importing exporting data or writing case sensitive queries so there are two ways that we are going to discuss like how we can get the 18 digit id in salesforce so first is using the custom formula field that will display the 18 digit id and then we will use that formula field in the report and the second way to get the 18 digit id is using the salesforce data loader tool so i will navigate to the salesforce developer console and tell you both the ways to get the 18 digit id so as of now i logged into my salesforce developer console and from here we have to navigate to the reports tab and for navigating on the reports tab we have to simply click on the app launcher and from here search and select reports and in the reports tab you can either create a new report or select the existing one in this example i am going to create a new report for that and for that we have to click on the button new report and in this step we have to select the category and the report type so in this example i will take the account object for that i will select the category as accounts and contacts and the report type i will select as accounts and after selecting the category and the report type i will click on this start report button and as you can see there's there are no records as of now on the report table for that we have to apply some filters so in the filters i have selected the show me fields as uh, all accounts and the range of the records i have selected here as all time so now you can see the account records on the report table and from the outline tab we can also remove the tabs and the field columns that we don't require and to add the id column we have to go to the column section and here search and select id so here you can see in the account general section you can see the account id so as you can see the account id column is displaying the id of the account records and here we can see it is only displaying the 15 digit id so to get a 18 digit id of the records we can create a custom formula field and with the help of that formula field we can display 18 digit id on our reports so for that we will go to the object manager tab so to navigate on the object manager tab i have to click on this uh, settings icon and here click on the setup and on the setup page click on the object manager tab and here select the object in which you are going to create the formula field like in this example i have to display that 18 digit id for the account records so i will create that formula field in the account object for that click on the account object and in the next window click on the fields and relationships and to create a formula field click on the new button so here in this step we have to select the data type so we are going to create the formula field so we will select the radio button formula and then click on the next button so the field level i am going to give it here is uh, 18 digit id and the field name will be auto field and the formula return type that we are going to select here is text because the record id consists of uh, alphabets and numerics so we are so we are going to take the formula return type as text and after selecting the formula return type click on the next button and now here we have to enter the formula that will get us the 18 digit id of the records 
so for that we are going to use the function case if id so for that go to the function section on the right hand side and here search case safe id so this is the function that we are going to use to display the 18 digit id so insert this function and after this we will check the syntax that it is correct or not and as you can see the syntax is correct so we will click on the next button and here you can select the fields that can access this formula field and then click on the next button so we are creating this formula field to get the record id in the reports so you can choose not to display this formula field on the page layouts so for that for that you can simply click on this uh, checkbox and this field will not be visible on the page layout of the object and at last click on the save button so as of now the formula field is created now we will go back to the report builder where we were creating the account report so here in the column section we can search the formula field that we have created right now for that i have to refresh the page so here we have to again select the category and the report type so i will do that and again we will apply some filters so now here i'm going to add the both the columns that is giving the 15 digit id and and also the formula field that we have created right now so first i will select the account id so in the account id you will you will see the 15 digit id and now i am going to add the formula field that we have created right now so that is 18 digit id so now you can see the clear difference in the report table that while comparing the account id column and the 18 digit id column you can see there is a difference in both of the id columns while account id is displaying only the 15 digit and the formula field that we have created is displaying the 18 digit id so this is how you can get 18 digit id for records in your salesforce report so after creating the report you can save and run the report for that click on the button save and run and here enter the label and the report name and then select the folder in where you want to save this report and after selecting the folder click on the save button and as we click save the report will save in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where you can see the count id and the 18 digit id is displayed so this is how you can get the 18 digit id now we will see the second way of getting the 18 digit id that is using the salesforce data loader tool and for this you need to install the data loader in your system and if you haven't installed it yet then i will also mention a step by step guide in the description from where you can see the steps to download the salesforce data loader in your windows system so let's move ahead and see the process how we can get the 18 digit id using the salesforce data loader so as of now i have launched the salesforce data loader tool and to export the records we will click on the export button and now it is asking me to log in so i will log in with my credentials here and after logging in it will take us to the second step where we have to select the object so so in this example also i am going to select the account object and after this we have to select the location where we want to extract the csv file and after entering the label for the extract file and location we have to click on the next button and in this step we have to select the query fields that we want in our export file so for that i am going to select the account name and the account id so in so when you are exporting the records with the help of data loader you will always get the record id in the 18 digit so we do not have to implement any other things like a formula field that we have done in the previous method so after selecting the query fields you have to simply click on the finish button and here click yes to proceed and as you click on the yes button the data operation will start and after its completion it will display a message of successful data extraction and to view the exported data you have to click on this view extraction button and in the data loader csv viewer you can see the record ids are displayed in 18 digit and to get these records in excel you can click on this open in external program and now you can see the ids of the account records are displayed in the 18 digit so this was the second way to get the 18 digit id of the records in salesforce so i hope by now you would have known the two possible ways by which we can get the 18 digit id of records in salesforce reports and if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye